Welcome back to our class. Are you ready to learn? Okay, but before that, let us pray first. Let us bow our head, put our hands together, and feel the presence of our Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to begin this new school year. We ask that you bless the students and the faculty that make our school a great place. We pray that you will guide us in so that we will seek you in your will in everything that we do. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay, again, good morning, day three. So, I have here verse. So, this is the first picture. So, what can you see in this picture? Okay, very good. A guy is smelling the food. How about in this picture? Okay, it is a girl smelling a flower. So what do you think is our lesson for today? Okay, it is all about our nose. Or this the nose. This is our nose. So your nose is where you breathe in or inhale and breathe out or exhale. You smell pleasant and unpleasant smell and even odorless things through your nose. The nose is the sense of organ for smelling. So we have three parts of the nose. We have the nose trills, the nasal cavity, and the olfactory nerve. So let us first have the nose trills. So what is the nose trills? So nose trills are two small openings in the nose. It is where the air enters before it passes through the nasal cavity. So these are our nose trills, the, tr the two small openings. In the nose trills, we have cilia. So these are the tiny hairs seen inside the nose. Cilia serves as filter that block dust, particles, and tiny insects trying to enter our nose. The next part is nasal cavity. So the nasal cavity is a large air-filled space above and behind the nose. So this is our nasal cavity. In the nasal cavity, we have mucous membranes. So the mucous membranes poison the air and make it warm. So you won't get nose bleeds from a dry nose. So this, uh, the green one is our mucous membrane. Then the next part, we have the olfactory nerve. The olfactory nerve detects the air and sends the sensation to the brain. Then the brain interprets the smell. Then we have the common ailments and diseases of the nose. The first one we have the common cold. It is the most common disease of the nose wherein one experiences runny nose, coughing, sore throat, sneezing, headaches, and burn. Then we have nose bleed. Nose bleed, this is caused by too much heat. There is a discharge of blood in the nose during nose bleed. It may also be a result of a minor irritation of the tissues found inside the nose as a result of head or neck injury. There are sensitive nerves in the nose which easily bleed when pressed slightly or slightly bumped. Bleeding of the nose may also result from putting foreign materials inside the nose trills. If bleeding continues for a long period, you may consort, consult a doctor immediately. Then we have sinusitis. So sinusitis is a disease caused by infections of our sinuses. It is also called sinus trouble. Swollen, painful sinuses, dizziness, and runny nose are the symptoms of sinusitis. So this is dangerous because it may serve as a center of infection that can serve or spread to the other parts of the body like the brain or the eyes. 
Then we have rhinitis. Rhinitis, this is a result from the infections, allergic reactions, common colds, and viral infections. Rhinitis is the inflammation of the mucous membranes inside the nose. When we say inflammation, it is the swelling of the mucous membrane that makes breathing difficult. The production of mucus in the nose is increased by the inflammation. So, how can we prevent this? Uh, diseases. So, let's have care of the nose. The first one is use a clean soft tissue, cotton, or handkerchief when cleaning your nose since heart cloth may cause irritation. One. Okay, like this girl is using a cloth to clean her nose. And the next one to avoid inhaling polluted air and nose irritation when traveling, use a clean tissue or handkerchief or wear a nose mask to cover your nose. Like this one. Okay, the next one. Do not put foreign object inside your nose. This may injure you or harm your nose. Okay, this may cause nose bleed. And the next one, do not blow your nose hard. Blowing too hard will hurt your nose as well as your ears. And the next one, if you can hardly breathe through your nose, consult a doctor once. Okay, so do you understand that, kids? So if you truly understand our lesson, I will give you a short recitation. Are you ready? Okay, so the first one is, what are those two small openings in the nose? Okay, very good. It is the nostrils. How about, what are the tiny hairs that are seen inside the nose? Okay, it is the cilia. And what moistens the air and make it warm? Okay, very good. It is the mucous membrane. How about what detects the air and sends the sensation to the brain? Very good, it is the olfactory nerve. So how about what is the nose ailment that causes too much heat? Okay, very good, it is nose bleeding. How about what is the nose ailment that may serve as the center of infection? Okay, very good. It is dinosaurus. So, did you learn? Okay, very good. So, this is your assignment. Science book, please answer pages 47 to 48. Review A and Thank you for listening. Goodbye, K3. See you next time.